What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hey you guys. And right now we're starting a new show, Cobra Kai. Represent, sweep the leg. <laughs> um, heard it's pretty good. You know, I'm a big fan of uh, Karate Kid back in the day. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even watch the one with Jaden Smith. I still haven't seen it. It's still a good movie. I'm glad you've seen it. But, you know, just... Jaden, he was cute. Set my ways. <laughs> my bias. He uh, did a good job. Okay. So I don't I don't have any preconceived notions about this. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm you know to I never started. do. Right. <laughs> I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Language smoking. Hey, it's Grandma's birthday. Sure is. <laughs> Flashback. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the moment. Daniel LaRusso's gonna fight! <laughs> Daniel LaRusso's gonna fight! <laughs> now, isn't this what I thought last Leg. Hey, it's Lamar. I forgot he's there. You have a problem with that? No, Sensei. No mercy. for over 10 years. Pipes don't work, fountains full of piss. And the only good thing about being here is I don't have to talk to anybody. So nice knowing you. Okay. Well, have a nice day. I guess. Another one. Across from the door. This is the wall across from the door. Not that door, idiot. The door. Just move the TV. I have company coming over. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna have to fill the holes, remeasure, 
match the paint, it's gonna take me an hour just to get to the hardware store. That's not my problem. I'm not the dummy who put the TV on literally the only wall in the house that a TV would not go. Why can't a TV go on this? Look, I'll come by first thing in the morning and put everything just the way you want it, all right? I just can't do it now. Well, that's just great. Not bad enough you took a shit in my powder room. You said that's where I was supposed to go. Yeah, I didn't know you were gonna take a shit. Okay, okay. We'll figure this out, all right? <laughs> just quit bitching at me. What did you just call me? No, 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 no. I didn't call her a bitch. I said she was bitching at me. There's a difference. You're firing me because of that bitch? <laughs> you know what? I hated this damn job anyway. You better pay me what you owe me, Mike. Aren't you Ew! Gloves? Right. What? Don't mess up if there's no Yeah. You gotta see it actually owned a dog. Put that on a plate. With a band-aid. He got a band-aid on his hand. <gasps> well, grandma's not feeling well. Didn't ask. Oh, come on, what's Spanish for just giving me a damn slice? Are you gonna eat that piece of pizza? Hey, yo, brother, get the life here this time. You gotta go wait for the meat. Hundo yeah. peace, son. Damn right. Oh! And you get some condoms. <laughs> they about to get it. A job. Well, you could open your own karate school. Come to the dojo. Well, you could open your own dojo. Look, I'm not getting into this with you. All right, I'm not even sure I'm allowed to be around kids right now. <laughs> right, you want my advice? Stop being so annoying. Maybe you'll stop getting your ass kicked. <laughs> right. What the hell are you doing in my apartment, Sid? Oh, that's some thank you. Who do you think bailed you out again? Never asked you for anything. <laughs> Is why I'm here. What's this? Uh, you know, I told you, Mama, I take care of you always. But in this case, I think even she would cut me some slack. I'm buying you out of my life. Mm. I'd rather be homeless and take money from you. Oh, well, hell. Yeah, okay. Right now! Lunchtime! And he gave you the touch. The feel oh, of yeah, cutting. Yeah. Down there where you keep your guts. That's all you need to blast your way in and get back what they took from you. 
Bonsai. Daniel LaRusso here from LaRusso Auto. We <laughs> specials on all of our inventory. We have an excess of Jeep Grand Cherokee's place to go. Get a lease for only... Nah, make that. <laughs> yes, we are shopping prices for all of our Hondas, Nissans, Acuras, and Audis. Every customer leaves with their very own phone side. We He wasn't he wasn't welcome back to the karate club after he lost. <laughs> Did they leave him? I can't remember because I know part two took off exactly at the end of part one. I can't remember. one service team in the valley we beat all prices we kick the competition yeah yeah i've heard it a million times i just prefer to do my business elsewhere put your glasses back on you're good right it's coming from the outside johnny wow johnny lawrence i i, I knew it was you holy how the hell are you hey man <laughs> oh, oh my god look at you ah! hey, you still got those golden locks eh? <laughs> How, how you been? Great, man. Thanks. I'm great. That's great. It's hey, hey, Anoush. Come here. Louis, get over here. I want you to meet somebody. Go. No, 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 no. This is Johnny Lawrence. He and I go way back, right, buddy? This guy was the toughest dude in my high school. When I first moved here from Jersey, he and I we got into it a little bit. This guy really had it in for me. Yeah, well, we did move in on my girl. Well, she actually wasn't really a girl anymore, was she? <laughs> ah, all right, that's all the water under the bridge. Wait, is this the karate guy? The guy from the tournament? Oh, this is the guy whose ass you kicked. Uh, look, it was a really close match, but if you want to get technical, I kicked his face. <laughs> I'm just busting your chops. It was an illegal kick. Oh, illegal? Really? Come on, what about that elbow to my knee? Yeah, I got a warning, you got the win. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. No fighting in the show room, guys. Yeah, come on. All right, back to work. Hey, he was going to fight him for real. Mm -hmm. Enough reminiscing, right? So what brings you in? You're, you're looking for a new ride? He wants his car towed to a different body shop. Oh, no, no, Johnny. We got the best prices in town. That crook at Coles on Van Nuys, he's going to try to screw you over. Sheila, let me see this. Pontiac? Firebird. Oh, no, someone did a real number on this thing. Maybe it's time for an upgrade. Why don't we walk a lot? I can give you a great deal on a certified free. I just want my car. <laughs> 
We got it. All right, let me see how low I can get this repair. You know what? It's on the house. No way, man. I don't need your charity. No, no, no. You'd be doing me a favor. Our guys aren't used to working on a car like this. They could use the, the practice. You can use the repairs. This is way more. said I'll handle it. John, it's going to cost more than the car's worth. Listen, don't worry about it, John. It's my pleasure, all right? Okay? Just hang here a second. I got something for you. One minute. You ain't going to be able to be here. Oh, that was his daughter. Open the door! Open the door! You've got to be kidding me. Hey, Johnny, wait up. Johnny, wait up. Dang. It's a small world, for real, for real. Every customer gets one. Come on. And hey, look, I don't blame you for what happened back in the day. All right, I know that wasn't you. It was Cobra Kai. We're all better off without it, am I right? All right, take care of yourself, and I'll, I'll call you when the car's ready, okay? This is crazy. You look, you look, it's good to see you, man. Episode of Cobra Kai. I liked it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> I'm telling you, Johnny with the, he's going through it, man. <laughs> man, it started off to just showing him, um, you know, how he's kind of like falling on hard times a little bit. He's got a job that he can't stand, you know, getting yelled at for putting. She just said, hang the uh, TV, you know, across from the door. He hung the TV across from the door. But it wasn't the door that she wanted. Across from the door she wanted. Mm -hmm. And he got fired. Um, he don't want to be. He he doesn't want to be bothered by anybody. He just wants to stay in his own lane, <laughs> do his own thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he met this young man. I don't even know the boy's name, but um, he tried to talk to him. He said, "Look, look here, Manudo, leave me alone." <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, he ended up see, uh, seeing the the, the 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 boy at the. Uh, at the store, he was getting her rat, rat bullied and Pepto Bismol poured on him, and you know it wasn't until they uh, got on threw, threw him up against the car, Johnny's car, that he intervened. And then uh, the boy wanted Johnny to teach him, uh, teach him karate. Um, it was funny. Uh, <laughs> I like I like the way. Well, it's a complete contrast to to Danny Larusso, who's who's doing really well. Got got car dealerships and mm -hmm. he's seeing his face everywhere on commercials on the billboards and <laughs> he's just like this. And evidently he's doing really good as mm -hmm. far as the chain of the the car lots because he had like four four different locations. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the billboard when he came out the store he was like he got another one. <laughs> he was like again like another one but yeah. Mm -hmm. And um while uh, Johnny was uh, stopped at the All, All Valley Arena, I guess that's where the tournament took place back in the day, uh, this Jeep ran into his car, wrecked his car, and it happened. we didn't know it at the time, but it happened to be uh, Danny's daughter in the back seat. Um, it was an SUV. Yeah, it was like a Grand Cherokee. Um, so he got the, the car got towed to one of Danny's Danny's uh, dealerships, and Danny ha it happened to be one that Danny was at, and it ended up running into each other. And <laughs> that had to be awkward. Let's talk about why you like this so much. Let's let's do that. Because because you are like geeks. It's, it's, like the, the people want to know. <laughs> the people want to know. I have never seen Ralph so interactive and smiling and laughing so much off of an episode of anything. So people want to know. 
Trump. Why? <laughs> well, because, you know, okay. This is, um, it just takes off from a story that, you know, we a lot of us grew up with, 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 with a karate kid. And so, you know, they had a lot of uh, flashbacks, you know, and everything that brings back nostalgia that I, I actually dug the little, the rock interlude ballads and everything that used to be in every movie back in the day. I dug it. <laughs> so let's, let's go ahead and summarize the reason why Ralph likes it so much. Ralph has an old soul. I do. I do. He was born with one. <laughs> so that means that everything that brings back his childhood, he's going to reflect on that as 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 this man did here driving drunk right okay surely after the mad uh mothers against drunk driving has been in effect mm -hmm. but here he is driving the old pontiac pontiac firebird drinking uh seven 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 <laughs> and seven in a, a beer bottle beer uh can driving drunk and stuff and <laughs> reminiscing and getting angry at the mm -hmm. same time reminiscing about how his son say about wanting to kill him in the parking mm -hmm. lot after he lost and had the, the trophy and everything and pretty much destroyed the trophy and was like choking him out trying mm -hmm. to take the daggone life off this little boy. Mm -hmm. But I think what's funny is the first kick that he tried to do for these guys beating them up, mm -hmm. it must have hurt him. I like that. Because that's real. <laughs> it hurt him something serious, you know. You you've been <laughs> you ain't living this years. life, <laughs> and I just want to know why is it that the kick took him out? Like he didn't have a life after that. Well, it's because he probably pulled something. <laughs> I'm talking about no. I'm just I'm talking about all oh, together oh, the, gotcha, the, gotcha, gotcha. the the December 19, right, 1984, yeah. or 86 or 89 or whatever it was. You don't know. Why did that give him rough time? Like he's been on. You know, probably that, and then the sensei trying to kill him, and then he can't bully nobody no more. I don't know. <laughs> he it took away his stick. <laughs> he hasn't been hired to be a bully for anybody else because he's been the number one bully for '80s movies for a long time. Him and uh, well, he wasn't a bully. Um, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, he, he was wasn't a bully. a bully, but he was just in movies where people was always being uh, different. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yeah. So let us know what you thought of that episode. Don't was that your son read it? Because I cut you off. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, he's got, oh, he's opening up his own dojo. He found a check. He went and dug up the check that his stepfather gave him. I was going to say, up. you want to go back to that too? Yeah. Because you didn't he, say anything he, he about that. He used that to, to buy a building. He's opening up his dojo. Going to train people to strike first and strike hard. <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> Get him a body bag, yeah! Alright, so let's, let's see y'all next time. We love y'all. Love you guys.